Wow, are you guys hungry? This is an excellent, easy dish that anybody out there, any prepper can do, and it is delicious. Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and today I hope everybody does enjoy this video. Back by popular demand, a cooking video with your preps. So today we're gonna see what we can make with a DAC ham, all right? We're gonna be using three cans of sliced potatoes, three of them. We're also gonna be incorporating one can of green beans and some cheddar soup. And we're gonna get going on this video right now so you can see what you can make with your preps because everybody has been wanting more of these videos. Here you go. Dak ham. Now, with this Dak ham, it comes with all this gooey stuff all over it. It's got salt and stuff all over it. So, you want to rinse this thing off really good. All right, and get all that gel off there, all that extra salt because you don't need it. Then, you just want to take and just pat it dry. Pat it real good. There we go. Get it good and dry. You don't need any extra moisture, although it will cook off. Now you just chop it up. There you go. Just chop it up. Now take your potatoes. Manual can opener. Make sure you always have one of those. Open up your three cans. Now we got our potatoes. Ah, uh, we got to rinse these bad boys. Now if you didn't have a way to rinse them, you still could cook them. But they're better rinsed. Rinse off all that stuff. Three cans. Cut green beans. Pull top. Oh, beautiful thing. Just take and pull that top off. Dump them in the strainer. Good to go. Cheddar cheese. Oh, yes. Now we can use milk or we can use water. Either one, however you want to do it, just add it in there. Get your whisk. Start whisking away. Whisk, 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 whisk. Yo, yes. Now we got to add some seasoning. Garlic powder. And we're going to add some onion powder. You do not need to add salt to this, folks. Do not add salt to this. There's enough salt in the ham for the dish. And black pepper, as you can see. Add that. Stir it up. Here we go. Now, get your flat top. You can do this in a skillet, too. Doesn't matter. And uh, all we're going to do is, like, pre-brown these. Warm them up a little bit. And the reason is, I'll explain here soon. Now, we just want to take and just spread these all out, either in your frying pan or on this flat top. The flat top works great. Really comes in handy. And you can just take and just spread all these things out. Like I said, do not add salt. No salt is needed. Over here, you see, I do have some grease. I did fry up some bacon uh, earlier in the day, and uh, it's hot here in Florida, so we're having BLTs tonight. But right now, let's get back. We're cooking these. Spread everything out so they stay nice, and they can start cooking, get nice and brown. Oh, yes, just like this. Oh, now we're talking here. You just want to get them a little golden brown. You don't have to cook them all the way. Just a little golden brown. Stir up your ham over here that's all diced up into the size that you wish. And you are good to go. This is just a beautiful dish. Very easy. Oh, yeah. Now, your oven. You got to get your pie plate. Fits into the Camp Chef oven here. We got to get this thing going. All right. So I'm going to set this up here on top. Open up the thing. Now we have already turned on our gas behind the oven and our 20-pound propane tank. And we just keep clicking this. Uh, as you can see, it goes to light. Takes it a few times. And bingo! Well, now we're cooking with gas. Oh, yeah. Now, get your dish whatever kind of dish you'd like to use we're going to put all the potatoes and stuff in first so just take and scoop these potatoes right up get them right in there 
Oh, yeah, baby. Just keep scooping them in. Load up all those potatoes. Now it's the ham's turn. Oh, we're coming together now, folks. Oh, look at that beautiful ham. I'm going in there. It's got a little bit of golden brown on it. Oh, boy. Wait, we got more. Here we go. Now we're going to come over here. Add your green beans. Oh, yes. You can see where this is going now. So we add our green beans, and now we're going to add our cheddar cheese soup. We're going to dump that all in here. Get you a spatula. Clean it all out really good because you want every drop possible in this meal. This way here, that's good. And you just take and just stir it all up until it's really good and stirred up. You want to get all those juices all the way around the whole dish and everything. And this way here, you're good. Now, we're going to throw it into about a 350, 400 degree oven. Somewhere in that way. Because these ovens, the temperature gauge doesn't work that well. But, here we go. Just keep track of it. Oh, it's been about 35 minutes. Turn off the gas. Because guess what, folks? She's done. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm telling you, folks. Here you go. Look at that. Bubbling away. Boy, I wish you guys had smell of vision Because this smells amazing. And I got a special guest coming up here soon in the taste test. Stay tuned, though. Look at that dish. Oh, it turned out amazing. And it's so easy. I'm going to take this out. Yeah, we're going to put it back up on top. Nope, not down there. On top. There we go. And now, let's close up the oven. And as always, folks, you want to make sure when you're done doing any of your cooking with your flat tops, grills, or anything else, always turn off the gas. Uh, very, very safety oriented. All right, so we made our dish today. And all we had was three cans of potatoes, we had one can of cheddar soup, and we added milk instead of water. You could add water if you wanted. In an emergency situation, you could get by with water. We did one can of ham and one can of green beans, and it turned out very good. You guys all saw the video footage when it came out of the oven, and it is just, it smells amazing. It really does, folks. You just stir this up. Now, today we have a special guest. And she's not going to be on camera. But she's willing to do a taste test. And that would be my lovely wife, Mrs. Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And there you go. Mm, smells good. Yeah. It's got a really good smell. I bet you don't have smell vision. Yeah. So let's give it a taste. Alright, it's a little hot, so. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. mm. What do you think? Mmm. I have to say, I was skeptical at first, but this is really good. All right. There you go, folks. It is good. Mmm. Lunch. Mmm. That is very good. Mm-hmm. It just goes to show you, you just got to get creative with your preps. You can come together and put any types of ingredients together and try it out. Maybe you want to try stuff out now before you really need to start making some meals and put together maybe some recipes on what you did. But here's what everybody was looking for. Everybody has been wanting some cooking videos to show you how to cook with your preps. A very easy dish to do then throw together in any type of emergency situation. Um, and this way here you got something really good to feed your family and you're not going to be going hungry. It's the whole reason we prep. So, thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope that you all stay safe and you keep prepping. And just remember,
buy what you're going to eat and practice and come up with recipes. I do have quite a few on my channel and here's another one. So until next time folks, I hope you all stay safe, keep prepping, and I'll catch all of you on the flip side.